There is a crazy flu going around. Lots of miserable, dehydrated people with high fevers and diarrhea. And one of those dehydrated, high fevered, miserable people is April, who hates me. I want another nurse. Well, there are none. We're stretched pretty thin right now. Then I want a janitor. They can do what you do, right? Yep, nurses and janitors are totally interchangeable. Except no one dresses up like a janitor when they want to be slutty. I get the sense that maybe you're angry at me for kissing Andy. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? That's crazy. And that you think it might be fun to take it out on me. Please don't do that. Do? I can't do anything. I'm sick. My blankets are on the floor. We've developed a revenue sharing formula that will hopefully appeal to most business owners. Leslie, you... go home. You're sick. I'm not sick. It's just allergies. Come on, guys. Just let me in there. No, no. you can't come in you're here. You're not coming in. No, Leslie, you, you look tired and you're all sweaty. You look tired and you're all sweaty all the time. What's your excuse? You want to go there, Jerry? No. Fine, I'm coming in. Donna, barricade the door now. Uh, come on, just let me in. <laughs> Either go home or go back into quarantine. I'm not going home. Get out of here, Leslie. Go home. Get the bricks. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. She's germing up all my stuff. Ah, oh, yuck. Leslie. Ron, you've been sweating in here all day. Are you drinking any fluids? Yes, plenty. No, you need to drink water. Usually I take it neat. But I will make an exception in the name of health. Last night I watched a movie with Diane and the girls in which an orange fish is separated from his father. The children were sniffling, which I believe to be due to the sad nature of the film. I was wrong. You need to take off those layers, rehydrate, and go to the doctor. Thank you for your concern. I will be fine. Please turn the thermostat up to 90 and leave me alone. Ron, this isn't safe. I'm a grown man. I have had a cold before. I need no help. So if you don't mind. That seems about right. I'm sorry, are you leaving? I thought we had a meeting. No, we do. It's just I think it's a little chilly in here. Are you okay? Your eyes are glassy. Oh my God. Oh my. Is, she, is she sick? Are you sick? No. Yeah, she's sick. That's why I'm wearing this and misting myself with hand sanitizer. I'm not sick. I just have allergies, okay? I took a Claritin and I threw that up. So I took another one, I threw that up, and then I took a third and it stayed down. I'm getting better. All right, you're burning up. You're burning up. What? I have to get out of here. I have 2.8% body fat. My body's like a microchip. A grain of sand could destroy it. My body's a microchip. Leslie, go home. No, I can't. I can't go home. I have to get ready for the Chamber of Secrets. Commerce. If this meeting does not go perfectly, then the Harvest Festival is going to be over before it began. I cannot go home. OK, then who's your doctor? Anne's my doctor. And she's the most beautiful nurse in the world. Come on. Oh, God, now I'm hot. Now it's really hot in okay, here. OK, well, that's your fever. Leslie, I, I typed your symptoms into the thing up here, and it says you could have network connectivity problems. I'd like to object again to being brought here against my will. OK, I'm just going to double check your form here. Ron, you redacted all the information. I answered some of them. For date of birth, you wrote springtime. Which is true. Everything you write down is confidential. We need you to give real answers. Fine. How many drinks of alcohol do you consume a week? One. That's it? One drink? One shelf. Do you exercise? Yes, love making and woodworking. Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? I have an uncle who does yoga. Allergies? Cowardice and weak-willed men. And hazelnuts. Sexual history? Epic and private. OK. I'm going to go get your doctor. He's a rude, brash jerk. You'll love him. Hey, Anne. What happened? I just saw you a few hours ago, and you were fine. Not like, damn, you're fine, but fine health-wise. My body has no fat to protect itself from disease. Things happen very quickly. Listen to me. It's very important that you replenish my body with electrolytes after every involuntary loss of bodily fluids. Oh, boy. My body tends to lose a lot of fluids when it's sick. My brain is on fire. I'm dying. Mm. Well, you definitely have the flu. Oh, my god. The microchip has been compromised. 
Before you begin, a few ground rules. I need you to explain everything you do before you do it so I can determine whether I will allow you... Oh. Mm. Ah. Balsa wood? You could at least use mahogany. <laughs> There's something occluding your ear. It's sawdust. Just blow. Oh. You've got strep throat, running a prescription for penicillin. We'll have the rest of your test results in about 20 minutes. Cholesterol. Not interested. Good day. Wish all patients were like that. It's really annoying when they ask questions. 104.1. Leslie, you're dehydrated, I'm admitting you. If I was sick, could I do this? What are you doing? Cartwheels. Am I not doing them? No. I vomited somewhere in this room. I don't remember where, though. Wait, you might want to check that drawer. Stop pooping. You have to get up off the floor now. As far as my friends. Nothing like a complete physical breakdown to make a guy seem less intimidating. I love the flu. <coughs> Here. I didn't know what to bring you, so I just got some magazines and lipstick. Woman stuff. Thanks. All my parents got me was that. OK, well, I'm not very good at visiting people in hospitals, so I'm going to go. Hey, if you see Andy, will you not tell him I'm here? OK. Because of what happened, I don't want him to think. Stop. Don't want to know. The less I know about other people's affairs, the happier I am. I'm not interested in caring about people. I once worked with a guy for three years and never learned his name. Best friend I ever had. We still never talk sometimes. Hey, you look better. I guess actual medicine can be effective. Who'd have thunk? Please leave me alone. Not until we go over your test results and your blood work. Your blood pressure looks fine. I'm not sure how this is possible, but your cholesterol is 120, which is the lowest I've ever seen. What's cholesterol? And the only problem I see is that your potassium's low, so just eat a banana once in a while. No, thank you. I live the way I live. I eat the things I eat, and I'll die the way I'll die. That's oddly beautiful, but also stupid. You're not alone in the world anymore, Ron. You're dating a woman who has two kids. So every three days, think about Ivy and Zoe and Diane and eat a damn banana. Ron, did you get my texts? No. Did you get my emails? Mm-mm. Did you see that I paged you? I, I did not. Did you check your voicemail? I didn't. We have a criminal emergency in our hands. Someone planted a gateway drug in the community garden. OK, call the cops. That'll lead to the press. Then there'll be an investigation, and they'll find my fingerprints on the manure, and then we'll lose our funding. You don't have funding. And we never will, if this gets out. Look, I will call the cops, but just give me one day to deal with this internally, OK? Sure. Thank you. And listen, if this thing blows up, I was never here. I have a hernia. I've had it for a while, and I've been ignoring it successfully. But uh, this morning, I made the mistake of sneezing. <laughs> but as long as I sit still and don't move my head or torso, I'm good. I got this. Ladies, 